The sun produces more energy than we can imagine. Its core reaches a predicted temperature of 15 million degrees Celsius or roughly the same temperature as an exploding hydrogen bomb. This is the scorching section of the sun where nuclear fusion occurs. The process releases massive amounts of energy which eventually makes its way into space. But just a fraction of that energy reaches earth. If we were to harness the total energy of the sun, humanity would jump to type 2 on the Kerda save skill, which is a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement. Right now, humanity isn't even on the skill. So, we need to harvest far more of the sun's energy. If we want any sort at universal dominance or even just long-term survival, this idea steams back to the mid 1900s. In a thought experiment, Physicist Freeman Dyson, no connection to the vacuum, popularized the concept of a structure that could trap 100% of a star's energy. Dyson claimed that advanced civilizations or extraterrestrials might use massive structures to capture the power of their host star. He said that looking for signs of these structures would lead us to other life forms. This concept inspired what later became known. Dyson's fear, a hypothetical mega structure that would surround the sun, soaking up its light and converting it into useful energy. Today, there are a few different Dyson inspired designs. The classical Dyson sail, for instance, is often portrayed in sci fi works. The solar structure, the size of a planetary orbit, contains solar habitats, each powered by their host's star's light. But this mega structure would be impossible for humanity to pull up due to the fact that the materials needed to build it doesn't exist. On top of that, environmental and gravitational stresses of the sun would destroy the sail. Instead, some astro engineers believe a Dyson Swarm is the most practical design for our solar system. This concept would require the construction of an army of advanced solar panels which would orbit the sun, capturing its light from all directions. The solar panels would collect the sun's radiation and continuously transmit the energy wirelessly back to Earth. Still, futurists say building a Dyson Swarm would require extreme measures like mining mercury for materials which will eventually destroy the planet. But if we manage to successfully create a sun sucking a mega structure, it will extend humanity's survival in the solar system and provide the power needed to colonize other planets. Considering all the advanced technologies needed to make this happen though, it will be a very long time until any sort of Dyson sphere takes the sleep from science fiction to reality. But like Freeman Dyson, some people believe that aliens might already be using Dyson sphere like structures and they point to a mysterious dimming star known as Tabith star as a potential evidence. Believers say that dimming is a sign of a structure surrounding the star, while other astronomers say that the dimming is likely just caused by the dust. But in the far fetched chance that there is an advanced civilization out there soaking up all the energy in the universe, let's just hope that they will use their power for good, not for evil. Spacecraft takes you through the depths of the cosmos, explaining bizarre astronomical phenomena and crazy plans for future exploration. In this episode, we explored how sci fi inspired spacecraft could clean up our space suns. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.